decided to, I was actually invited by AUTSA, the university, to uh, do some presentations since I, I've been in uh, Bishkek for like a couple of months. I'll be in Bishkek till like mid-February. So they wanted me to um, do a presentation uh, and then we were thinking what, what's going to be the topic and we decided to take DevOps and architecture. So this is now like a buzzword and it's uh, in trend, meaning that um, a lot of people would like to understand how to improve business and how to get less failures in the production. So it is a, a new sort of new methodology, but it's been around since 2013 in, in the West. And uh, uh, everyone was happy to hear about that. Yeah, including some visitors, some professors from America here. So we agreed on that and it was accepted and um, uh, it is destined for uh, anyone starting from development operations, management, IT management, uh, business. So yeah, it's like a co uh, con con continuity, the, the related to business continuity and business improvement. So it's a good start uh, uh, to choose some of the languages of interest uh, whatever is now uh, something that you can work with and that you can get a job it's important to actually start working and getting paid for it so be practical be pragmatic as you say and uh, try and get uh, get some knowledge of programming languages which are in trend so you can get a job whether in kyrgyzstan or overseas or do freelancing over internet so that would be my choice. Start with anything like uh, that's in trend, like Python or uh, C Sharp or uh, Visual Basic. Any of the object-oriented languages would be good. Java, which is web programming, and yeah, that'd be a good start. And then the next step would be become your programmer analyst. So do a bit of analysis, design, and also be uh, aware of the new methodologies like Agile for development it's important to get skilled so yeah so training is good get some training and start working and making money <laughs>